Hello children. Welcome back to our computer class. I hope you may have written the exercise of first chapter in your computer notebook. Now today we are going to start our second chapter memory and storage. So be ready with your textbook and open chapter 2. Memory and storage. Children do you know what is memory? Yes, it is our brain which can store and remember information. We all have memory. Same way a computer also have memory. As we know that computer is a wonderful machine that is invented by humans. It can do many works at a time with faster speed. It has very high storage capacity to store lots of data and information and does not does not get forget the instructions once given to it as like humans computer also have a memory a computer stores all its data and instruction in its storage space which is known as memory Every computer has a certain amount of memory. The capacity of its memory determines how much data and instructions can be stored in the computer, either temporarily means for short time or permanently means for long time. The computer memory stores data in different locations that have unique address. As you see on the screen, computer stores data in specific location and that have unique address. Each address holds one alphanumeric character. Alphanumeric character means either alphabet, number or symbol that is understandable and processable by a computer each alphanumeric character is represented in the storage location of a computer by a string of binary numbers that are treated as a unit in computer storage location binary numbers are string of binary numbers are stored and that are called unit there are two binary digits 0 and 1 and they are called bit b i t bit binary is a language of computer and binary digits are the measurement of computer a set of 8 bit a set of 8 bits is called a byte b y t e byte it means if we collected 8 bits means 0 1 0 1 0 1 8 times means 8 bits it is called a byte b y t e byte it is unit of measurement of computer memory as you are studying in maths the other measurements such as kilogram and gram are the measurements for weight liter and milliliter are the measurement for capacity etc this binary digits 0 and 1 bits and byte are the measurement of computer memory in this measurement computer measures the data that is stored in computer memory Let's understand this with example. Assume 1 bit is equal to 1 letter. If we write 8 letters that is given on the screen 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0. These are 8 letters. So it will become 1 byte data. Computer bit are 1 and 0 that is binary digit 1 means on and 0 means off then if we collect 8 bit 8 bit 
then it will become one byte data now see in the chart given on the screen 8 bits equals to 1 byte that we understood now if we collect 1024 bytes means for example 1024 letters then it will become 1 kilobyte data the short form of kilobyte is KB 1 KB data then the next measurement is MB if we collect 1024 KB means 1024 kilobytes then it will become 1 megabyte data means 1 MB data next measurement is GB if we collect 1024 MB then it will become 1 gigabyte means 1 GB next is TB means terabyte if we collect 1024 GB then it will become 1 terabyte 1 TB data and so on the next measurements are petabyte PB exabyte EB zettabyte ZB and yottabyte YB now you can easily understood the concept of memory and the measurements of data in computer memory now let's move forward to types of computer memory mainly computer memory is of two types internal memory and external memory as you see on the screen the chart of memory is given here this chart is also given in your textbook. Two main parts internal or primary memory and external or secondary memory. Internal memory further classified into two types RAM and ROM and external memory various external memories are available that we can use as per our requirements. Here three examples are given CD or DVD, hard disk and flash disk. First is internal memory. It is called the main memory of a computer. As its name it comes with a computer and fixed inside CPU. It is the memory that is in the form of silicon chips and fixed on the electronic circuit board called motherboard. Silicon chips are made of chemical elements and it can hold data. Motherboard is a main circuit board on which all chips are fixed and it is fixed inside the CPU box. When we open CPU box, we can see the motherboard and on motherboard internal memory is fixed there are mainly two types of internal memory ram and rom first is ram the full form of ram is r4 r a n d o m random a4 a double c e double s access m4 m e m o r y memory random access memory it can store data or information temporarily temporarily means for short time it is working like a blackboard that is constantly overwritten with new data it holds data till the computer is on when we switch off the computer all data stored on it is erased same like a blackboard when we uh, erase the blackboard the data written on the blackboard we will never get back in RAM also we will never get data back after the computer is switched off information is lost when you turn off the computer or the power goes off that's why it is called volatile memory. Volatile means 
memory that requires power to maintain the stored information when the power goes off all the data stored on it will erased let's take one example for example in calculator the numbers can be shown on the screen till the calculator is on the moment when you turn off the calculator all the data disappears when we press the uh, ta- off screen of the calculator then calculator is become off and the screen disappears all data on it same as when we turn off the computer data on ram is also lost and we cannot get that data back second type of internal memory is rom r for r e a d read o for o n l y only m for m e m o r y memory read only memory it contains the chips and instructions that tell the computer what to do when it starts up means it contains all the instructions on on which computer can run and do work it stores instruction or data permanently during any process permanently means it can store data for long time data stored in rom never lost because it saves data permanently it is non volatile because it can hold data for long time means even after you turn off your computer the data or content of rom will not be lost in short we can say that the data which we saved in computer that is goes into rom or store in rom and never lost now children i hope you badly understood the concept of computer memory and internal memory and the types of internal memory ram and rom our second type of memory external memory we will learn in our next session till then stay safe learn well bye bye thank you